Okay, you got, have you heard anything about this Rory McDonald for you? I know you asked for it in your They're gonna call him Chicken Rory. <laughs> <laughs> no, Let him not, come. That's the fight we want, and uh, I do respect him a lot. Uh, he's a tough fighter, but uh, I think the, we're gonna push for that fight. We're gonna call him names until he takes the fight. Scott Coker <laughs> said he's been blowing up his phone since you took that win today. Has he said anything you, to you about that? No, I just uh, he congratulated. We were just happy taking pictures with the president and the uh, friend. And uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. There's too many fights to make. Uh, there's too many big names, but um, I don't know. We see. Tiger, was there anything that would, uh, would have surprised you in there tonight? Because obviously you ran through without much resistance. So was there anything that sort of took your goal? Was it as expected? No, I know I was physically stronger. Uh, if, if guys are not on steroids, I'm twice stronger than them. Uh, that's the truth. Um, I fought, there were two two guys maybe stronger than me, and uh, one of them got caught, and the one was, uh, I don't know, very suspicious. But uh, I trained with heavyweights, I trained with my friend Ricardo. There's the guy, look at him. Handsome and strong. And uh, yeah, I'm, what can I say? Uh, uh, he's a, he was orthodox, so I had to keep the distance. Yeah. You said you wanted to call Rory some names until he, you know, until he gets Maybe the fight, Mac so. Rory. No, Mac no, that's not good. Uh, Big Mac Rory. No, Big no, Mac no, Mac no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll come up with something. Yeah. Eat him. Yeah. But no, no. Uh, I, like I said, I, I like Rory. I think he's a phenomenal fighter. But uh, it's a good matchup for me, I believe. Uh, and a big name. And I think uh, five fans want to see that fight. Okay. Scott was just talking about potentially going to Amsterdam. Yeah. I'm sure you'd like to head out in that card, right? Yeah, 100. If they go there, uh, we have phenomenal fighters. We have good kickboxers. Uh, we have uh, Melvin Manu signed again. Uh, uh, so we have uh, my friend uh, Castillo. We can headline. We have a lot of uh, stars, uh, you know. So we can headline uh, for sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, back in your UFC days, you felt you had to change the way that you dealt with the media and be a lot more forthright and a lot more open in the things that you said in order to try and get the title fight that never happened. Now you're in Bellator, you're holding the belt right now. What are we going to see from Gogo Misasi now? Nothing, I don't know. The, it's, it feels the same if it would have been UFC belt or not. I'm just, I worked to this point, I'm happy. I'm going to take a break, get some booze. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drink, party, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm just happy. Maybe uh, light heavyweight, but those guys are big. But uh, I take uh, I take kickboxing fights, whatever the Bellator uh, offers me. Because with Bellator you have kickboxing, you have uh, I can go up, uh, and this this belt will open some doors for me. And uh, it's all about the opportunities, you know. I have to fight contenders, but you have also big names. I think uh, I'd rather make Rory than the, old, the other guy. Who's the? He's a good fighter. He's bald, but I don't know his name. He's, a, he's the contender, I think now. But he's ugly. <laughs> Check on everyone. Always talks. About, everyone always talks about the, the dream and strike force championship. <laughs> everyone always. I was just kidding. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everyone talks about you know the dream of Strikeforce Championships is defining your career and such a long wait to to capture another championship. Did you need one more to certify you at the top of the sport? The uh, yeah, I think uh, you know a belt is uh, who's the better fighter at that night because the best fighter doesn't have always the belt. It's just timing. Like I said, George St. Pierre became the ca champion because he fought Michael Bisping. That was a good timing for him to take the fight. That was good management. Uh, I think any other fighter, maybe GSP wouldn't have won it. So it doesn't say a lot, but uh, of course, for the it, it, it says something and it says not some not everything. So yeah, it's um, I don't know. It's, it's a belt. I'm gonna make. Pictures with my belt now. <laughs> I'm gonna be happy. Yeah. So, Gego, this is the fifth uh, world title, if I'm correct, or is it no, six? I have six belts now. I have three from Dream, Cage Warrior, Strike Force, Bellator. So, I fought two belts in UK, one in J uh, three in Japan, and one in uh, US. And where do you think capturing the Bellator middleweight championship puts you in the conversation for greatest middleweight of all time? I, I, my goal was never to be the best middleweight. I never had that desire. 
I just wanted to make money. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, people saying uh, pride, honor. I don't know. I'm fighting for my family, myself, and uh, I just want to win. That's uh, my. I want to compete and win. But my goal was never to be the best. But uh, you know, my goal is to win all my fights. So if if that happens, you know, I don't know. But I'm, I'm not there yet. I how, think. Much, how much does it mean to have got to this point with a lot of the coaching staff and people who have been with you for a very long time on this journey? Now you're standing there with the gold belt. Yeah, they're friends. They're friends first, and then coaches. You know, um, they really care about me. They're, they're I would say more like family because um, everyone was worried about me. Don't harass him. Get out of his room. Give him him sleep. You know, I, I see that the whole, throughout the whole week. They all really care about me. I, I love them. And uh, like I said, it's uh, I feel like a team effort, and uh, I'm grateful to them. Otherwise, uh, like I said, my mother, my brother, my coaches. Uh, yeah, my mother make every day food. So if she doesn't make food, you know, I think I'm, can't, I can't perform. <laughs> so you know, I think everything uh, you have you have the whole team to get to the point. Where I am. But my mother is more than just making food, of course. <laughs> Yeah. Gego, there is one fight out there um, that, that could interest you. Yeah. Um, Mo Lawal yeah. has said that he wants to go out down to middleweight. Yeah. Um, or go to middleweight. Yeah. Um, that's a great. Uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's a good yeah. fight. Uh, yeah. uh, but I heard. I don't know if it's true, but he's, he's, they said he can make middleweight. But uh, obviously, he's coming to middleweight. That would be a good challenger mm -hmm. if he's the if he's the contender. It's that other kind of level for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a you know he's a world class fighter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was the first guy I really didn't like, dislike because he was a uh, he was so annoying. But uh, I respect him. He's a fighter. I, so that was quite yeah. heavy, wasn't it? Light heavyweight, yeah. And uh, like I said, that was he was strong. He was really strong. But like I said, another fight, next fight he got popped for steroids. So don't, yeah, if he's clean and he's the contender for sure, you know. Like I said, but uh, I do respect him. Uh, I think I got nothing bad wishes, you know. Next time you yeah. look him up? Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Easy, man. Easy. If there's Dutch media, you want to ask some, uh, throw in some Dutch questions, you're more than welcome. Uh, can I just quickly ask? said on the run up to the fight that you were more nervous than normal. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put it down to that and uh, did you feel that at all when you were kind of making your walk out and you know, in Asia? No, I know I, once the once the bell rings I fight. Once the bell rings I'm not scared, I'm not nervous. You can have all that feelings but once the ring bells is automatic pilot. So uh, it doesn't but, but uh, yeah I was nervous because uh, uh, I came to Bellator from USC, and the uh, first fight was a little bit difficult. People gave me crap about that. But, um, so yeah, and uh, friends are here fighting for the belt. Like, I felt like I've worked to this moment. So yeah, I was nervous, yeah, but, uh, you know, so it's okay. Uh, I, I know uh, I can deal with it, yeah. Gekko, yeah. you, you, before this fight, you briefly talked about the future and possibly retiring. This is your 53rd fight, if I'm correct. How much longer do you foresee yourself going on? I have four fights left, and I think after that, it's, uh, yeah, I think, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about retirement, but uh, like, it's all depends. You know, last fight, it was difficult. I had the eye injury, gets you to think. And uh, But let's say if I win all four fights, okay. you know, then you think differently, but, uh, I got nothing to prove, I feel. Um, and then I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know, we see. After four fights, then I see. But uh, like I guess I'm very happy with Bellator. Uh, even um, after four fights, uh, I'm not gonna go anywhere.